What's going on guys? We have a great recipe for you today. We are making keto cheesecake fat bomb. Really simple, handful of ingredients. You can see them all right here. We got heavy cream, a little butter, some cream cheese, a sweetener, this is erythritol. We're gonna do lemon, make it a little fresh, add some lemon zest, and then just some vanilla extract. Very important though for this recipe, have these two, and even ideally the heavy cream, all at room temperature. That makes it so much easier. And if you guys are wondering, what is a fat bomb? Seems to be a very controversial topic these days. Oddly enough, uh, there's just, you know, tribal lines have been drawn. Sometimes people tell me like in order to join a Facebook group, they get asked questions like, do you eat fat bombs? Do you have bulletproof coffee? And if they answer yes, they don't get admitted. I like to think of fat bombs as um, a convenient way to add fat to your diet, especially when you're first starting out on a keto diet because it's very counterintuitive. A lot of people have done low fat diets for a long time. Doing a high fat diet is very hard for them. It's a foreign concept. So stuff like this makes it a lot easier. And we have a ebook with I think 40 plus recipes, fat bomb recipes, it's called the Fat Bomb Bible. I'm gonna link that down below. Let's get on to the recipe. Okay, so the cornerstone of any good cheesecake, of course, cream cheese. We're gonna be using four ounces. You can even throw a little bit, if you want, sour cream into this recipe. Basically half of a package. To that, we are gonna add half a stick of butter. So the ratio you're going for is two parts cream cheese, one part butter. And you can see both of these room temperature. That's gonna make it easy to mix this together. Here we have three tablespoons of powdered erythritol. Powdered is very important for this recipe. Anytime you're using uh, erythritol, which is a keto sweetener that we use for a lot of our recipes, and you're not baking it, you're just like, this one we're not baking, we're just putting it in the fridge or the freezer, you'll taste the graininess of the erythritol if you don't use the powdered kind. If you don't have the powdered kind, you can just put your granular erythritol in a spice grinder or a coffee grinder and just mix it up. Before we add anything else, we're gonna mix this mixture together. Now we're gonna go with a quarter cup of heavy cream. I usually just eyeball this recipe. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. That'll give it some good flavor. And then the last thing we're gonna add is some lemon zest. You can do a bunch of different things in here, strawberries, blueberries, basically any kind of berries. Um, you could even do some nuts, like some finely chopped nuts would be pretty good. I'm pretty into walnuts in my desserts. How about you? Pecan. Pecan. Pecan and walnut to me are like close cousins. What do you say to that? Pecans are more aggressive with their taste, I would say. Walnuts are more just kind of like chilling, like, hey, we got a little flavor here. So I'm gonna do about half of a lemon worth of zest. We're gonna add that in. And the zest really adds like a good lemony freshness without adding much sourness to it. So now just mix this to combine. So what I'm gonna do is just use a cookie scooper for this recipe and a silicone mat here and we're going to put it in the freezer. You could also use fat bomb molds. It's like a silicone candy mold. You can use it for fat bombs a lot of the time. Something kind of like this, like just little like mini cupcakes. But I'm just gonna use the cookie scooper. I like these because it makes it look more homemade. And if your dough is a little loose, just pop it in the fridge before you portion it out like this. So you can see ours is kind of standing on its own, just barely though. If yours doesn't do that, you may wanna put the batter in the fridge. Firm up a little bit, and we're just gonna scoop these out. Okay, so there you have it. These are ready to go. We're gonna pop these in the freezer for an hour, and once they're done, we'll be back for a taste test. And we're back. These have been in the freezer for about an hour, and I would say they're at their perfect, you see they're a little bit bendable there. This is about the perfect temperature to eat them at. So you're gonna to wanna to store these in the freezer, but I would take them out like five or 10 minutes before I eat them just to let them defrost a little because they're not as good when they're just like rock hard. Really simple recipe. This is a small batch. If I was gonna make this, I'd probably make like a double batch. So let's give this a try. Super yummy. The lemon really makes it. The lemon's like the whole recipe. I'd highly recommend adding the lemon. It's not sour at all. You really just get the nice zesty freshness of it. Perfect for after dinner. That's what we usually do with fat bombs. We make them store them in the freezer, and then it's just like an easy after dinner snack. Doesn't keep you wanting more. You're not like searching through the cupboards all night because you're starving. Just a small little sweet bite like this is perfect for after dinner. In the description of this video is the link to our website, ketoconnect.net, where we have all of our recipes, including this one. 
All the instructions, ingredients, how to make it are found there. The videos are all on our website too, so you can watch the recipe video right in the blog post. Definitely give this one a try. Check out the Fat Bomb Bible if you're interested in more quick and easy high fat recipes like this. And that's gonna do it for this time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>